From Hollywood, California, in the back room of Meltdown Comics, Harmontown is now in session. Oh, yeah. Let's bring out somebody near and dear to my heart, Mr. Spencer Crittenden. Oh, yeah. And the mayor of Harmontown, Dan Harmon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You seem, you seem very cocksure tonight. Nah, I'm a little high. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you. Uh, uh, what flavor of uh, narcotics are you on tonight? Just weed or what? Strawberry cough, I think it's called. I don't know. <laughs> Sativa. I, I, I'm not. I'm just, I don't make that my gimmick. It's, 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 make that society's gimmick. Legalize it. Um, all right, Nancy Reagan died. <laughs> Maybe that's why I got so high before the show. I was like, I feel like I feel like a ghost finally stopped telling me to say no to things. Maybe I. I, I, I did you write that joke down? Was that prepared? Or no, you, I just made the you, connection. I came out, I followed, that's my, brilliant. I told them I'm that's high. Right. They're, they're going to know sooner or later that I'm high. And then I was like, I got one thing to talk. Nancy Reagan died. You, you just, so early, you, you just said yes. I love yeah. that. <laughs> but, but then, yeah, I'm like, okay. It's not like you've been saying no your whole life. <laughs> no, I haven't, but, but yet a floodgate did open more. Yeah, right? Maybe, maybe that's what happened. All right, so Nancy Reagan, uh, 94 years old, rich, so, so y you're saying foul play. Yeah. <laughs> the curse of the first ladies. That they all died. <laughs> all of these women married uh, first men. All of them are dropping away. In their 90s. Year by year. Norma Taft. You, know, you, you want to be a great serial killer. <laughs> Kill people who are 94. <laughs> There was a, uh, you know, fam famous people die. Here's the thing: famous people they die as often, if not, if not more than uh, the obscure. You know what? They, they die less. Yeah. That's that's the point of being famous. They're they, rare. They, they die less. They're rare people. Famous people die less than non-famous people. I, I, I thought it was closer to a one-to-one -one ratio. <laughs> In a room full of a hundred people, less of them that die will be famous. Well, because there are less famous people. Exactly. That's, right. what, that's oh, the point oh, I was trying to make. Okay, I dig it. All right. There are less famous deaths than obscure deaths. We right. just know about the famous ones. Right. <laughs> Man, you're blowing my mind right now. I really did think that was an awesome, mind blowing quote. I, I picture that as being like Yogi Berra or Mark Twain on a calendar. Like, there are less famous deaths than obscure ones. We just know about the latter. I, I can't get it back. Can't I can't get it back. I, I, thought I, I thought I did something amazing. I want you to smoke more strawberry cough before every show. Nancy Reagan. Charm, grace, and a passion for America. A lot of the headlines were like, this elegant, suave. Like, I don't know. It's all, it's all like class and, like, I don't know. They're just praising, praising her dress. Her red, a lot of people saying she, she wore dressed red, nice. She wore that red dress all the time. Uh, and then and it's, it's hard. It's like, like well, okay, she's... Uh, there's, uh, there's the kind of USA Today article. Everybody, everybody kind of chimes in. And you have people like, for instance, uh, let's see, like uh, Obama. He's got, of course, he's got to say something. He said, our former first lady redefined the role in her time here, President Obama said in the statement. Later, in her long goodbye with President Reagan, she became a voice on behalf of millions of families, blah, blah, blah. So people are like, you know, like, 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 they're like, what did she contribute? Let's eulogize her, blah, blah, blah. Um, let's see, I'm scrolling down. Mitt Romney said, uh, yeah, well, he, that, he kind of, <laughs> he said something kind of dickish, too, that'll undercut my punchline, which is Trump. Uh, 
But it's like like everybody from Republicans to Democrats and everyone in between, people that lost their election, like Jimmy Carter had to say something. And he, he said, uh, uh, Mrs. Reagan's Just Say No program prevented many young people from falling prey to the allure of drug use. Like, he's, he, 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 she started a phony war on drugs that's put a bunch of people in prison for no goddamn reason. But, but, but... <laughs> But, so but, but just, just, just confine this to the box of how to do a eulogy. <laughs> just for a second, then we'll get to all that, that stuff. I, that was mine. It's a, so, so it's just, it's just paragraph after paragraph after paragraph. It's like Jim Henson said this, Jimmy Carter said that. And it's just like, like, oh, what's he gonna say? She, she was, she was like a, the Muppet of people, and. Uh, <laughs> But it's just like, like, like people largely get to like Obama had a really nice story. I think I read the wrong paragraph where he's like, he he really kind of nailed it the most because he really did. He was like, it's it's hard to move into the White House, and she gave Michelle Obama like a kind of like a a, a tutorial in it, like she, like like right. impl- you know, it's just like, like, yeah, fo- like, like focusing the, on her. Like Do- a, Donald Trump called Mrs. Reagan the wife of a truly great president. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's the end of my story. And, peop- I just, and, <laughs> and people say people say he's he's a misogynist, but that, listen to that. Listen to how much he loves women in that quote. <laughs> what a fucking cunt! <laughs> he, he, he can't do anything I like. <laughs> uh, so it's he, kind of magical because he's that. He just every time he says something, you go, oh, I fucking want to just hit you in the so, face. <laughs> The wife of a truly great president and an amazing, amazing woman. She really, really, really great. No, it's true. It's true. No, it's true. It's true. Well, Ted Cruz said she will be remembered for her deep passion for this nation and love for her husband. I mean, of course, well, you know, she'll be remembered for her yeah, love of her husband. That's yeah. because her husband will be. No, she, did, she did take care of a deeply, like, senile, demented old dude for, like, a long time, and she was very cool about that. I mean, it was really t- weird that on CNN, I, I, I turned the TV on for a moment today, and uh, Anderson Cooper was talking to his mom, Gloria fucking Vanderbilt. That's fucking weird, too. What? His, his mom's Gloria Vanderbilt, if I'm not mistaken. And so they interviewed her, because she and Nancy were, like, apparently bosom buddies. Like, they were really good friends. And so he's, he's talking to Gloria Vanderbilt, like, on the phone... And he and, and Anderson Cooper, news anchor, goes, he, okay, mom, so, and he, he kept calling her mom. I was like, this is the worst news show in the world. <laughs> Talking to your mom. <laughs> that sounds adorable, though. <laughs> okay, I mean, she, she actually eulogized Nancy quite well because they were pals. But like, here's the thing. Like, so, Nancy Reagan, you think, uh, well, you guys don't think. Some of you think, I don't know, like, like Norma Taft. Like, 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 <laughs> but I, I was a child of the 80s. Nancy Reagan sat on Mr. T's lap. lap. Now, now, Nancy Reagan was the just say no lady. Nancy Le- Reagan was on. A, why can't I speak? Because I'm high. The, the Nancy Reagan was on different strokes. Nancy, she always and she had a little gimmick and she was like she was Nancy Reagan. She was, but 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 did, did she do a little dance? She she was she, she, she you know she, 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 she just like they would trot her out and she'd get like I'm here with Night Rider. Night Rider can say words that cars can't, i.e. all of them. But there's only one word your car needs to know, and that's no <laughs> to drugs. Because my administration marks the beginning of a concept where you take, like, for instance, crack cocaine, and you say you get 10 years in jail for yeah. a, 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 the weight of crack cocaine that you would get, like, a thousand years. It, it, it's, anyways, it was, uh, there, was the, it, there was a lot of shit that so the, you see people tweeting, and you go, like, like why are we eulogizing this person? And, uh, I count myself among that. It's like, like come on. Like, Don Knotts dies, and you go, look, a lot of people are dying. Don Knotts died, and he was in the show. <laughs> Goodbye, Don Knotts. <laughs> if a president dies, and you go like, ah, oh, well, I remember that time in my life. Uh, he was president of it. Okay. <laughs> net, 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 net zero. Like, probably as a positive memories and negative whatever. T- didn't know. The wife of a president, I'm like, I don't know how to deify anybody. Yeah. There must be a... Because, because if you're deifying her, you're deifying her for, the, for breakfast in America or whatever that era was called. It's a dawning of a new age where we're going to take all the mentally ill people and throw them in the street and just call them homeless from now on. Like, 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 
Like, like, like, that's not her. She wasn't like banging a gavel and saying we should do that. Yeah. She was. She wasn't necessarily. I don't like, like. Like, here's the thing. Big, 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 big mistake we made during that uh, era. The biggest complaint that you. I mean, is the gay community because they literally. Not only were they not responsive to. What they what they knew was an uh, an epidemic that that the, they actually there's paper trails of them like going mm, let's actually come yeah. on we don't need that much funding for like 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 that area yeah, and that's stuff scandalous and as I, there was a <laughs> uh, so well, yeah yeah it was scandalous because it was a gay disease and like like and then there's a there's a story I read today and, and I. Was, she just died, so I'm like standing over her grave and going, now let's talk about what a shitty time that was. I'm not talking about her. You know what be great? Is she's she probably an amazing what, person. If I were Nancy Reagan and my legacy, we're all going to remember her for having a red dress, being a first lady, in that order, and, and say no to drugs. Just what what no. is she fucking just OD'd? <laughs> if I were Nancy, I would just say, I'm just going to speedball it. I'm gonna, <laughs> I, 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 I want you to find me with Dave Navarro on a bathroom floor. Or if she just said on her deathbed, if she just said, like, listen, uh, just say yes <laughs> to all of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there was, a, there was a story I read, and this, like, 